RNZ News at 8. Namihi Ate Ate, good morning. I'm Catriona McLeod. Russian and Ukrainian troops have continued fighting on the outskirts of the capital, Kiev. The BBC's chief international correspondent, Lise Doucette, says other cities in the south and east have undergone further bombardment and deprivation. When the ask of Kiev will be next, as Russian forces inch closer to the capital from the northeast and northwest. Oh, thank you. Today, President Volodymyr Zelensky, in one of his daily appearances to show he's not hiding and is still working in his office as usual, told a press conference that the Ukrainian army had lost around 1,300 soldiers since the start of the invasion. Yet again, he expressed his readiness to speak directly to Russia's President Vladimir Putin to find a way out of this war. But he insisted if Russia was determined to take Kiev, he would have to raise it to the ground. The Ukrainian military says Russian troops have fired on a convoy of women and children leaving a village northwest of Kiev, killing seven people. The people were reportedly using an evacuation corridor. There's been no independent verification of the attack and no comment from Moscow. Children fleeing the Russian onslaught in Ukraine are being put at risk of hypersomnia, hunger and death in temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees. The spokesperson for the charity Save the Children, Jackie Sothi, says Ukrainian children are trekking through brutally cold Arctic winds and snow, sometimes alone. Save the Children is extremely concerned because the children that are moving and on in search of safety are in poor conditions. They're cold, they're hungry, they have very few belongings, just the clothes on their backs, and increasingly they're travelling on their own. Jackie Salvi says Save the Children is working through local partners in Ukraine to distribute essential items including blankets and winter kits. In New Zealand, the charity has raised more than $350,000 for the children of Ukraine. An epidemic modeler is confident Auckland has reached the peak of the COVID-19 Omicron outbreak in terms of total case numbers, but says hospitalizations will be slower to decline. The Canterbury University mathematics professor Michael Plank says community cases in the biggest city will edge down from here. Amy Williams reports. Community case numbers in the Auckland